Right now, the biggest movie in the world is being made in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. That's right. Leonardo DiCaprio, Martin Scorsese, and Robert De Niro are currently filming in Oklahoma. It's a $200 million movie, the biggest movie being made on the globe right now, and it's being made here and employing thousands of Oklahoma. It's based on the David Graham book, Killers of the Flower Moon. But it took us a while to get here. Film started in Oklahoma at the turn of the last century because Thomas Edison's production company was drawn to Oklahoma because we had Indians, cowboys, cowgirls, and Mexicans. The same reason Martin Scorsese is here right now. About half a century later, Gray Fredrickson from Oklahoma City won the Oscar for Best Picture, and he was the producing partner of Francis Ford Coppola. He produced Apocalypse Now, Godfather Part Two, and the reason it's important to us is because he convinced Coppola to bring the Outsiders production to Oklahoma, where S.E. Hinton wrote the book. That, that, was a, that is really when the modern Oklahoma film industry started. A couple of decades, a decade later, Rain Man stopped by for one scene in Guthrie, and we were happy to have it. And then the next decade, 1996, Twister came and became the biggest movie that had ever been filmed here and the most popular. It got the people working for the state thinking maybe we could build an industry based on this. So in 2001, they passed the first film rebate program called the, the Compete with Canada Act because Canada was stealing all the movies from LA. So we passed that in 2001. And that brought in a ton of horror films because you can make horror films without someone famous and getting killed is the same in every country, unlike jokes. So Gray Academy Award winner Gray Fredrickson started the, um, started the company that made those. And then he also started the film school at OCCC. Oklahoma City Community College now has 3,000 people working in the film industry that they've trained and they inspired OCU to start a program they inspired Tulsa to start a program, and then OU kind of consolidated their program as well. At the same time, that is when the film festival started in 2000 and 2001. Bare Bones is Oklahoma's oldest, and Dead Center is Oklahoma's best, because I ran it for 10 years. And uh, the importance of a film festival is there was not streaming, so the only way you could get an audience is to apply to a film festival. Well, the rebates started getting bigger, and we started attracting bigger movies like August Osage County, The Killer Inside Me, and William H. Macy's rudderless and they came because they were all written here but in 2017 a miracle happened i can only imagine based on the best-selling christian film the song of all time that it was made for seven million and made 87 million at the box office and also reinforce the idea for our legislators that some movies can tell positive christian messages and not just horror films the the enthusiasm for that what's the enthusiasm led to the starting of the first studio in Oklahoma, Green Pasture Studio. They bought one of those schools that were being sold by the Oklahoma City Public School System and turned it into a studio. Now the Cox Convention Center is Prairie Surf Studios, the biggest studio in the Southwest. That entire building is gonna be filled with filmmakers, but what we need now are we need more people to support that. So every one of those studios is connected to a nonprofit, the Oklahoma Film and Television Academy, and the Film Education Institute of Oklahoma, where you can leave your lame job and start making movies. So sign up for one of these two. You don't need to make a lot of money. If you're making movies, poverty's just fine. And that's important because in addition to Killers of the Flower Moon, we also have Reagan Dogs filming here for FX and Reagan, about everyone's favorite present. Those are filming currently. What's happening right now is Oklahoma Film Bill 608 is being voted on on Monday. So if you want more movies made here, go and, go and be nice to a legislator and tell them to vote yes. And this is gonna raise the, um, the rebate to $50 million. And that's how we will get big movies like Batman. It's also probably worth noting, we won an Oscar this year for the movie Minari, which was filmed 100% in Oklahoma. And the goal is to use the enthusiasm that we There we go. To use that enthusiasm. And the good news is we have tons of Oklahoma-born filmmakers that are also making amazing movies that are playing on the Disney Channel. Um, Mickey Reese's movie is debuting. His movie, Agnes, is debuting next week or next month at the Tribeca Film Festival. And it's important because I'm an Oklahoma filmmaker, and I want to stay here and make movies my whole life. So thank you, and have a great night.